Hello, Alejandra. Hello, Leti. And here we are for an activity called three in a row. Now, I will explain just in case you don't know how it goes. Here I have some numbers, one to ten. I will take out a number and that is the question you will answer. You will do three questions and then I will do three questions. That's why it's called three in a row. So, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Right, so, not looking at the ball and let's see what number comes out first. Oh, number one. Okay. What time do you go to bed? Uh, uh, usually, uh, I uh, go to bed at uh, 11, 11 p.m. Okay, you go to uh, bed about 11 p.m. most about, evenings. About. Yes. Yes. I go a little bit later. I go at 12 because I don't sleep a lot. So if I go earlier, I'll be up earlier. So I prefer to stay in bed. Well, I have three children. That's why uh, our, our, all our house is uh, is sleep at, at 10 p.m. So. Yes. So you get to, oh, sorry, you follow your children's routine because as they're going to wake you up, uh, you think, right, everyone to bed. They've decided to go to bed because soon they're going to wake us up. So you follow yes. your children's routine and you go to sleep mm -hmm. about 11. That's Number right. four. Number four. What do you do on weekend mornings? Uh, well, uh, weekend mornings uh, on Saturday, uh, I have uh, a special classes with, uh, with my daughter. So I go, uh, go with her uh, in this classes, uh, theatral classes. And uh, on Sunday, Sunday, what we have on Sunday? Uh, I think on Sunday, uh, I try to make a kind of pancakes or something, try to right. cook something special. <laughs> yes, you try to change the routine a little bit. So on Saturday, yes. you take your little girl to her private theater classes. Yes. Um, I suppose these are things that she likes to do, no? So I am imagining now your life is dominated by your children, which is normal. And depending what they need to do or have to do, this is what you do. My eldest daughter, she has two. And she's like a chauffeur sometimes, going from this class to another, taking them here, organizing. And then maybe on a Sunday, like you said, you just try to have a quiet family day, no? And maybe make something or do something. Right, number two. All the numbers are quite close. Are you usually early on time or late? Uh, I'm usually early because I prefer to have a, a, a three or five minutes gap, gap before the meeting so I don't so if i say to you uh let's meet at 12 o'clock in the cafe you would be there first uh, yeah in case if you uh, don't like uh, to be early yeah i will be first <laughs> <laughs> yes because uh for example this morning i went out for a coffee and i had uh, the time for nine o'clock i get up at seven so i have plenty of time but I was trying to calculate just enough time to walk there and not sit there because I don't like sitting uh, by myself waiting for somebody. I don't know why. Uh, I just feel very uncomfortable, for example. Mm -hmm. So I always try to be on time. I hate people who are late. So I'm punctual. And like yourself, I try and do things a little before because something could happen on the way or something like that. So I don't know if that's my generation, but that's the way I was brought up, right? Number nine. Uh, how, this is for me, because you've done three. Yeah, okay. yes, it's your turn. <laughs> so how do you communi 
uh, commute to school or work? Well, I go to work. I'm very lucky. Uh, I walk to work and it would take me, I think, 10 minutes in a relaxed, pleasant way. So when I go to work at half past two, uh, I walk up a little uh, hill, only a little one. And on the way I'm thinking, and also uh, in the direction I'm going, the sun always hits my face. <laughs> so I get nice uh, vitamin D for 10 minutes uh, walking to work. So I walk to work and at nine o'clock I walk home. So I'm very lucky where my house is. Everything is 10 minutes this way, 10 minutes the other way. And so I try to walk everywhere. And I try to plan everything, walking uh, to that place and calculating. For example, yesterday I had an appointment with a doctor at eight. Uh, I set off at six. I had two or three things to do on the way. And so I tried to calculate the time not to be late. So that is also an exercise, no? Not to be late. Seven. <laughs> Very related. Describe a place you like to walk to. Okay. So as I just said, I walk everywhere because one thing is, Alexander, I can't drive. So I don't have a car. I can't oh. drive. So uh, I walk everywhere. Sometimes I've used public transport, uh, but because I have arthritis in my knee, I try to walk a little bit every day or do something to keep it moving. My favorite place, well, 10 minutes away, what do I have? The beach. Wow. So I don't have to go down onto the beach, but just walking along the top, you know, like the promenade at the top of the beach is enough. Mm. So if I walk half an hour in one direction and then walk half an hour home, I can be looking at the sea. And also on certain days I can smell it, the salt in the sea. And also you can imagine the blue sky. Normally three quarters of the year, we have blue skies every day. Like today is winter, but I have a blue sky with the sun and you have to put a jacket, a scarf and a hat on, but it's fantastic. We would call it a crisp winter's day. Crisp for the cold. Crisp is C-R-I-S-P. Now crisp, have you ever heard of those potatoes which are in a bag and you got crunch? Yes, yes. You have a bag and they're yes, either yes, salt yes. or a bit, well, in England we call them crisps. In America, I can't remember what they're called in America. So when you put them in your mouth, you got crunch, crunch, crunch. So the crisp effect, this is of the cold. So it's a crisp winter's day, but I'm still looking. I see the sea, I see the blue sky, I see the sun. And I put on a scarf and my gloves and I was happy. For example, my sister in England near Liverpool, she has grey skies, rain. It's miserable every day. I don't know how she does it now. This is why I will, don't think I will ever go home. Right. And my last one for today. <laughs> oh, dear. Do you spend a lot of time online? What do you do? Oh, you have caught me. Now, online, what does that mean? Does that mean my mobile phone or does that mean my on, PC? On the internet, oh, social the internet. networks. So, yeah. Oh dear, oh dear, bad question for me. I'm an addict. Uh, the phone is my uh, companion. Not very nice to say it, but it is my companion. Also, I'm not very good at um, technology but the four or five things I've learned how to do related to my work, I do a lot. Um, I spend a few hours on the computer uh, looking at what my teachers are doing uh, and technology. And I do like uh, YouTube. I find it so interesting. I look at a title and I will watch a podcast. No, well, listen to it more. I can even put YouTube on the television, which I prefer sometimes than the channels. And I listen to uh, a podcast about people's lives, the way they've started in a very difficult situation, trauma or something, and now they're very successful. I, I do enjoy those. Or then something catches my eye. 
and I listen to that as well. So YouTube uh, is my companion uh, during the day. People would put on the radio, but I put on YouTube. Social media, well, over the years, I have spent a few hours chatting. Yes, I have. Uh, I try to keep it down to a minimum now, uh, but my phone goes everywhere. <laughs> the other day, I don't know how, but my daughter said, my mom's not been online for two hours. Is she okay? <laughs> and the thing was, I'd forgotten my telephone at work. I don't know how she knew I hadn't been online for two hours, uh, but she made this comment, which I saw later. Right then, would you like to ask me anything about what I talked about? Oh, that's uh, okay. Uh, that, that's okay, yes. Right, so when you are listening to somebody, always try and think of one little question to ask them because I think uh, it shows uh, more interest, no? So you were listening to me ch -ch -ch -ch, going, talking, no, no, and no, no, while no. I'm talking, maybe I speak too much. This is another weakness I have. Because of my profession, I speak a lot. So, yeah, so you, you, pay, you, pay, you paid a huge picture of your, of your situation, of your life, so... I don't think that there are any details. <laughs> so I will have to learn to be a bit more quiet and not talk so much, and that gives more room for question. So, Alex, I hope you liked it, and uh, it wasn't too much of a trial. It wasn't too overwhelming for you uh, to do this small conversation with questions. How do you feel after yes. doing it? Yes, it was very interesting. Thank you very much. That's the main thing. That's what I want you to feel. And I want our viewers to see that anything is possible. You just have to try. No? So let's yes. say goodbye to everyone. See you. Bye. See you.